What's good, YouTube? It is your boy, Big Cool, coming to you from Colossal Sports TV. And I am back with another video. Early morning on my way to work, so I was like, you know what? It's fight week. It's a big ass fight. It might not be on the magnitude of a Wilder, Fury, Pacquiao, Spence, but you know what? This is a big ass fight, and it deserves its respect. We got Jermail, Iron Man, Charlo, the unified junior middleweight champion, taking on Brian Castano, who holds that WBO strap. And this is an undisputed title fight. And whenever you got an undisputed title fight going on, it's a big fight. No matter what you think about these fighters, no matter what their records are, et cetera, et cetera. But let's get into the. This is the prediction video, man. This is the breakdown prediction. More, more prediction than breakdown. But look, we all know Jamel Charlo is one of the best boxers going right now. People clown him. You know, he's too emotional. He this, he that. Look, man, this guy has that fighter's mentality that you like and will and want to see um, in the fighters you watch. He took his L, which is still debatable to this day, back in 2019 to Tony Harrison. But you know what he did? He didn't bitch. He didn't complain. He went back in the gym, and he sharpened his skills, and now he's the champion again. And to follow up that win, he he beat J.C. on Rosario, the guy who upended Julian J. Rock Williams in his first title defense and what was supposed to be a homecoming tune-up bout. He knocked him out in four or five rounds. He went on to face Jermail. Jermail motherfucking folded that man with a body shot, a jab. So, <laughs> took the breath out of him. Knocked him out, took his belt, and now he's one step closer to becoming undisputed junior middleweight champion. And will be the first man to do it since the great Ronald Winky Wright defeated the great Sugar Shane Mosley in 2004 to do that same exact feat that Jamil and Brian Castano are attempting to do. But let's talk about the man from Argentina. He's not to be disrespected, overlooked. People feel that this is going to be an easy win for Jamil Charlo. And it very, may, very well could be that. He is the better fighter. But if you watch Castano fight, you know he is no chump. He's no walkover, et cetera, et cetera. The guy fought Lore in like 2018. Should have won that fight. You know, he brings pressure. He's a two-handed fighter with some good pop. You know, he's aggressive. And we know since making the switch from Ronnie Shields to Derrick James, Jamel Charlo has fused his his style but pre Derek James he was more boxer 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 now post Ronald Shields he's boxer puncher Derek James has brought that aggressiveness out of Jamel Charlo and he's shown he's capable of knocking guys out maybe not on the level of his big brother the WBC middleweight champion Jamal Charlo but he got power and he can get you out of there he stopped Tony Harrison in their rematch. He stopped J.C. on Rosario. He iced Erickson Lubin, who's a hell of a fighter in the first round in that mandatory defense. So that lets you know he got the power. But he also got the boxing skills. He got a good jab. He got good reflexes, quick, fast hands. Not the fastest, but they fast enough to get the respect. And we know Castano is not the most technically or fundamentally sound fighter, but he's not horrible. But we know he's going to come in applying pressure. He loves to go to the body. Just ask Arslandy Laura and Patrick Teixeira. He beat Patrick, Patrick Teixeira's body up all night long. All night long. All night. That's what he was doing. He beat his ass. He hurt him. At one point, I thought he was going to stop him at some points in that fight. But to Teixeira's credit, you know, he stood and withstood that body punishment, which I know he pissed out blood. I know he pissed out blood. You know what I'm saying? To uh, see all 12 rounds. 
But with all that being said, man, while I think it's going to be a, a very good fight, an action fight, I think both guys are going to have their moments. I think um, Jamel Charlo has the right mindset, said he's been training for a war. I think that it's going to be action. It's going to be some moments where Jamel controls the um, – is controlling the fight. And there's going to be moments where, oh, shit, because Stunner landing something on him. But at the end of the day, man, I feel like Jamel Charlo is too much for uh, Castano. I think he's going to outbox him, outfight him uh, in this fight. But I'm not sleeping on Castano. But I see uh, Jamel Charlo taking this fight um, by way of a unanimous decision. A clear but competitive unanimous decision. If y'all like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Drop those comments in the comment section down below. Let me know who you got winning the fight and how. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications on. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.